Hey, what's rocking with y'all? I'm just doing a little video today about why the root chakra is important. If you're just starting off with spirituality, consciousness, or you just becoming any type of woke, or you just just on a little bit of a spiritual awakening. See, in the new age community, many people focused on the chakras. The main ones they focus on is like the third eye. That's what a lot of people focus on because it's referred to a lot in um, pop culture. But honestly, working on your higher chakras first is a bad problem and will lead to failure. Like in 2016, that was the genesis of my awakening. I tried to deal with higher knowledge that I wasn't ready and wasn't grounded enough to hear and wasn't. Because they say sometimes knowledge is deadly if you hear it with an untrained ear. So, like at the time, I still had a lot of childhood trauma and drama still winning in on my aura, shit from my past life, family issues, relationship issues, identity issues. Basically, my root shock was fucked up. It was all the way toast. It was done. You know what I'm saying? So, I had to find a way to, like, survive. If your money not right, then your root chakra's not right. If you got, like... Ego problems, your root chakra's not right. If you living in survival mode, your root chakra's not right. If you always in flight or fight mode, your root chakra's not right. So, it's like I put up a shell. Like, nothing matter because I still haven't feel from, healed from the hurt kid. Because as a kid, we put in situations... That our consciousness don't have the answers for. So a lot of times. It gets stored in your, subcon in your subconscious mind. Or in your um, chakras. For you to deal with later. And a lot of people don't know. That you got to go back and heal your. Um, you got to go back and heal your inner child. To move or to be a, a healed adult. But I avoided with um, relationships with people I really had to connect with. Um, I really had a hard time to commit and I was real indecisive. I was living through my ego that wants to survive and plus living a life I didn't really, I wasn't really loved, loving my life because I stayed in school, college to make my family happy or because that's what I thought I was supposed to do. But doing that, I was living without a purpose. And your root chakra could be overactive or it can be underactive. When your root chakra is underactive, you might live in total fear or depression or anxiety. You might be holding on to sexual drama and trauma or abuse. When you might have an addiction. And when it's overactive, it's like you might have addiction and anger issues. Like your ego is out of control. Like you're basically like just raving off like somebody that's full of adrenaline or testosterone. Like you somebody just... A bully type of person if it's overactive. And most people live their whole life in their root chakra. And that means you live, you live your life on the, the scale of an animal. Because your, your chakra is stuck in like your bowel, your, your, um, your root. Your chakra is stuck way down. Not past your sexual organs. So your... And your consciousness is down there. You basically living like an animal. And the rise of and fall of man is in the chakras. See, it go up from root to sacral to solar to heart to throat to third eye and to the crown. So that's the rise and fall of man. When you rising up, and then you can you can fall down. Ways to balance your root chakra 
is to spend time in nature, exercise, meditate, practice gratitude, anything that really makes you feel more like you. Make sure you are rooted and grounded and you are rooted, grounded in the earth and protected by Mother Earth as a child of the earth. That's the best way to get um, your root chakra in order and working for you because the root chakra is the first chakra so and it's red. So you work with the color red, you might need to burn a red candle, you might can... Put a red towel down while you burn a red candle. Get you some red crystals. There's a lot of stuff you can do to work with that root. And when you do that, that's going to lead you to rise up to the next chakras. But you got to start with that root. You got to start on your lower chakras before you move to your higher ones.